you know, punk has become uh, a kind of a holy grail within the rock and roll world. But for a time, in yeah. The but if you were involved in it, it's not so much of a holy grail as a, uh, of course, as a uh, plastic cup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're involved in it on the day to day and all the fights and and you know how, how many people you have to avoid and this one doesn't talk to this one right, right. and that, you know this one didn't get into that they, they they didn't know who he was. I mean, if you have to listen to all that crap, Ola, <laughs> it's not so much a holy grail. Uh, as a plastic cup. I, I know that as a, I play in a band with Clem and I know that as an insider. <laughs> right, right. Not even, well, not, not well, even the, the bands okay, themselves get along. The Blondie story <laughs> well, is we the Ramones were... story all over again. Absolutely, you know? yeah. I mean, there, I, mean I think, I think who, who is at fault here is the Beach Boys because they set the precedent for being dysfunctional. <laughs> and, and every American band who, you know, started off as teenagers, you know, they all end up hating each other, you know? <laughs> Well, you know, and, and if you had to hang around with your senior high school class for the rest of your life, yeah, it's that's a, what it's like. It's a recipe for dysfunction, yeah, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so it's fun and it's great. And, you know, and I can't believe, you know, when, when my mom's boyfriend used to talk about World War II, it had been 20 or 30 years ago, you know, and I thought that was ancient. <laughs> And, and now, what we're we've doing done, it. The, what, we've done, <laughs> what we did 20 or 30 years ago is still resounding through the culture, yeah. which is which is what I find fascinating. And I think we set it up right because, you know, there wasn't a political thing. It was about personal freedom. So, mm, yeah. you know, any 13-year-old kid sure. can dye his hair green from manic panic, yeah. you know, hair dye, wash them, wash them out, the, uh, wash them out <laughs> in the shower, and, and you know. Get a guitar and scream, you know, screw you, mom, or whatever. That leads me to uh, my next question, which is about rebellion. Do you think that, you know, kids today have that rebel spirit? Or do you think that they've kind of become quite traditional, actually? They're sexting on, on, on their cell phones. They're sending naked pictures to one another. <laughs> I mean, it has, it has evolved into such a, you know, uh, a, 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 a technologically... Adva I mean, texting, I, I don't even know how to text, you know, and all these people are texting and getting into huge car accidents because of texting, and I mean, yeah, I mean, it all, it all always... Is, is the next book going to be called Please Text Me? Probably not. <laughs> I, I, please sext me. I, I think, no, well, please sext me. Now, there's a, please sext me. There's a title. I, I'll go with that one. Well, thanks very much for talking to us today. No, I won't, won't, won't take up too much time. Yeah. Please sext me. Yeah, please sext me. That's, some, that's the, 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 the new book. But if I do it, please kill me. <laughs>